20 minutes to 10 o'clock. Buying presents, it's a big part of Christmas, whether you like it or not. It's also what causes a lot of the holiday stress, from impulse buying to the pressure of finding the perfect gift. Now, the true meaning of the holidays may have gotten lost in this somehow. Joining me now to talk about this pressure society we have here, Dr. Danielle Henderson with IU Health. We're glad to have you in today, doctor. Thank you. Thank you. She's working in behavioral psychology yes. and discovering why people feel so much pressure. Tell me a little about the science behind it. Well, for some reasons why we have that urge to engage in impulse buying are due to anxiety and, mm -hmm. and feelings of unhappiness that sometimes maybe are more um, present during this sure. holiday season and another big reason is that when we um, think about buying a present or having something we think about other people who might own um, that present mm -hmm. or how it might feel to have that and so sometimes that kind of pressure of keeping up with some of our friends or now in today's society keeping up with celebrities sure. we know who might own certain things that can sometimes drive that impulse buying. Well you attach your value to items and then your value to the items that you give other people you think yes. what are they going to think of me if I give them this as opposed to this and it's interesting today is the day when I think a lot of people really feel this they're like oh my gosh a day or two to Christmas and I gotta buy this for this person what can people do on a day like today mm -hmm. uh, to let go of some of that? Sure. Well, I think if, if you do feel the need to go out shopping today, make a list of what you want to buy, and then when you get to the store, try your best to stick with what you've planned beforehand. Mm -hmm. If you do find that you're kind of getting off plan and looking at other items that you didn't think about before, think about, do I, do I really need to buy this? Mm -hmm. Was this part of the plan? And as best you can, you know, try to try to step away um, right. from it, yes. Now what about people who know somebody in their lives who might be in this situation? If they're not the one who maybe feels all that pressure, but they go, oh my gosh, I've got a sister-in-law who just can't handle the holidays. What would you say to somebody who's thinking of helping or trying to assist somebody in, in that situation? Sure, well I think just sharing with them what you're noticing and maybe just letting them know that it's okay to not put this pressure on themselves mm -hmm. to buy all these presents for people. Like you had said, you still have value. I still love you even right. if I don't get a certain present from <laughs> you. You know, you're, you're still loved and also is it worth the unhappiness that will eventually come when you get that bill. Well, and <laughs> right. And there's all kinds of studies and even just anecdotes of people who at the end of the Christmas season or years after the Christmas season, I should say, they're looking back at the gifts that they've received and their favorite is like a handwritten note yes. from a loved one or yes. a picture colored by a kid yes. or one of those little coupon books. Are those the kinds of things that, that people should be relying on or should they maybe find a balance between the buying the items and then the heartfelt gifts? I think it's a balance. I always feel like things are about a balance. The heartfelt gifts and then maybe some some snazzier things too. All yes. within that healthy yes. zone. So yes, I feel zone. better just talking to you. <laughs> this is great. Thanks. Anything else you want to add before we wrap up today about this topic? No, not that I can think of. I yes. think you covered it well. Thank you so much, Dr. Henderson. We're glad Thank to have you. you in today and we hope folks at home can just take that Deep breath yes. and enjoy the holidays. I certainly know Marx is going to do that as well. Right? Try to take it in, right? <laughs>